Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In our previous lesson, we discussed extensively the plot of the play The Black Hermit by Ugugiwan Tiongo. Today, we are going to be looking at the characters in the play and the role that each character play. Uh, we are going to start with the character Remy. Remy is the protagonist in the play and also the major character in the play. Remy is the son of Uyobi and uh, Ugome and also the husband of uh, Tony in the play. Remy, uh, Remy was the first to have university education from his tribe Marwa. He's from the Marwa tribe in Kenya. And uh, he, during his uh, university education, he participated in politics, involved in active politics. And then he joined the Africanist Party. And he was one of the people that aligned with the ideology of the prime minister. Uh, he abandoned his home, his father's home, that is in the Marwa village, and uh, ran to the city because he was forced to inherit the wife of his brother who died in an accident. His brother married Tony and within six months he had an accident and died. And so by the culture and the custom of the Marwa people, Remy has to inherit the, uh, the wife of his brother Tony. And uh, even the pastor who is the leader of the Christian community in the Marwa village also in, encouraged uh, Remy to marry the wife of his brother, of his late brother. So he married, but he was not sure that the brother's wife or the, the late brother's wife uh, loves him. And then he was not comfortable with the relationship. And then he has to run to the city. When he ran to the city, he started working in an oil company as a clerk. And he got engaged to a lady working as a typist in the company as well. The name of the lady is Jane, and the and Jane is a white lady and a, a European woman. And uh, Jane is also a very kind uh, lady who is not a racist. So the relationship between Remy and Jane also grew. But later, when Jane discovered that uh, Remy had the wife in the village, he left Remy, he abandoned Remy and told Remy to go back to his little wife. Then the second character we are going to be looking at is Tony. Who is Tony? Tony is the wife of Remy. And Tony was inherited according to the tradition by Remy. The husband of Tem, Tony was the elder brother of Remy who died in a motor accident. And after the death of the husband, by the culture and custom of the Marwa people, Tony, uh, Tony as a young lady has to be inherited by Remy. Though Remy once told us uh, during his conversation with uh, one of the characters called uh, Omange that he loves Tony so much before Tony marry his uh, his elder brother, but he never expressed his love for Tony, and then when his elder brother expresses his love for Tony, Tony accepted the proposal and they got married. Unfortunately, the marriage did not last as a result of death of the husband, uh, the first husband. Now Tony was so worried, was so lonely. In fact, a lawyer was a lawyer wife because he wanted to stay with Remy and he was even worried whether Remy even loves her at all. And she never wanted to marry to another man again, even when the mother-in-law will be advises her to get another man or even get, a, get pregnant for another man, she refuses. She vowed that she will stay and wait for Remy, even if it will take Remy more than 20 years to return from the city, she is going to wait. And we saw that she waited till the return of Remy, though the return was so disappointing because Remy even said during his speech in the village square that uh, he does not love, uh, he, was for, he was forced to marry Tony. And that pains Tony where that even Tony, Tony left the village square. And when she left, she decided to go and commit suicide because she was full of pain and sorrow. In fact, before the return of Remy, Tony was already depressed 
because she was lonely, weeping all the time. Even when the step, uh, the the mother-in-law encouraged her to be cheerful, or she even get to go and look for another man, she refuses. She was just mourning her situation, her tragedies until the return of Remy, and Remy, Remy even for all the atrocities and the challenges that Tony was facing. The, at the end of it, she decided to commit suicide and go to a place where nobody will hurt her any longer. Even when the village woman encouraged her to stay by, to come and even stay with her, she refuses. And at the end, Tony committed suicide. She took her life. And after she killed herself, Remy realizes that uh, Tony lost uh, loves him so much and uh, he's regretted his action but that does not bring the life of Tony back Tony has already gone and uh, dead and also we saw Uyobi Uyobi is the mother of Remy and the mother-in-law of Tony and the wife of Ugome the father of uh, Remy and he's a good mother and he has, uh, as well he's a good mother-in-law she was so concerned about the situation of her uh, Tony to the extent that he even encouraged Tony to go and marry another man. Even when Tony refuses, he now told Tony that okay, she should go out and flirt with men so that, so that one man will impregnate her. But Tony refuses. She was so concerned and at the same time worried about her situation because she lost her first son. And then because as a result of the death of her first son, the husband Ugome also died of shock. And when the, uh, the husband died, Remy also have left, have run away from the village. So Uyomi was just left alone, and the only person keeping her in company was just the uh, the daughter-in-law, uh, Tony. And we saw that she was a very committed a Christian, and he does not want to engage in any traditional practices. Even when the leader of the elders who wanted uh, Remy to come to the village and lead them and represent them in the parliament comes to her to bless the chant they want to use to persuade Remy to come to the village. Uh, she blesses the chant, but she was so worried that she has committed the sin by giving her blessing to the elders and to the chant. And when she, she reported herself to the pastor, even though the pastor too was not so comfortable with her action by telling her that what she did is a sin. And if they use the influence of charm to bring home Remy, Remy is going to belong to the, to the world and to the elders, not to the church. And he begged, you beg the pastor to come back to please go to the city and bring a uh, past and bring a uh, Remy back to the village. After careful thought, we saw that uh, the pastor also gave him to the advice from Uyobi. Then he went to the city to go and uh, um, bring uh, uh, Remy. Did Remy follow the pastor back to the village? We will we'll discuss more on that when we get to the character of the pastor. So Uyobi was so challenged, especially when Remy returns. Because Remy was talking to her rudely. In fact, Remy has, so, has changed so much that Remy, the, the way the Re Remy talked to the mother, Uyobi, Uyobi was so worried. And they, uh, she kept on hoping, just as the pastor was encouraging her, that Remy will change one day. And another character is the pastor. The pastor, I can say, is an extremist. And at the same time, he have one kind of ambivalent uh, uh, Christian practices. And uh, the reason why I say that is because the pastor does not believe in the tradition of the Marwa people. Yet, he was the one encouraging Rem uh, Remy to inherit Utoni as the custom demands. So you could see somebody who does not belove, belove, uh, believe in the tradition, but at the same time, want to be part of one of the tradition or want another person to follow the tradition of the people of the land so we saw that the pastor is a fundamentalist and even remy once uh, accused the pastor that uh, he was dividing the people he was causing tribalism he was causing separation because the love the play was set immediately after the independence of kenya and what happened was that when christianity came there was a lot of division. Those who converted to Christianity I do not want to have anything to do with those who are practicing paganism or African traditional religion. So the pastor also was one of such people who do not want to associate with people who are not Christians, who are not even members of his church. 
and he also encourages Uyobi not to have anything to do with tradition. And he was also planning that Remy, because he was once the Sunday school teacher of Remy before he became the pastor. So he wants Remy to succeed him as the pastor because he knows that, okay, he is getting old and uh, sooner or later he is going to resign or retire. He's going to retire rather. And when he retires, who is going to lead the church? Who is educated enough to even read the Bible in English and interpret to the people? He's Remy. And, then, and that was one of the reasons why he went to the city also to go and bring Remy back. And we saw the drama that play out. The pastor left his Bible there. The elder that went also left his chant there. So Remy was holding the chant in one hand and then uh, was holding the Bible in another hand. So both the charm and the Bible were used as instruments to persuade or to lure Remy to the village. But the though Remy did not give uh, attention to the elder, he gave attention to the pastor. He told the pastor why he does not want to go to the village, go back to Marwa, rather than he want to stay in the city. And the pastor also, even when uh, Tony committed suicide, he still insists that Tony is a good Christian and Tony is going to paradise or heaven. So we saw that uh, he causes a lot of tribalism or religious division among the people. He, he also from the Marwa tribe. And we have another character, Jane. Jane. I love the character of Jane so much because Jane is very liberal. And Jane is not a racist lady. Unlike some characters of European people portrayed in most of the African plays and novels, Jane was not like that. Jane was a liberal person who accepted to date uh, Remy. Even though Remy is black, he does not care about the skin. He is a hard-working person and a typist in the office where Remy is working as a clerk. So she wanted to follow Remy to the village and promises that she's going to abide by the tradition and the custom of the Marwa people. But Remy never wanted Jane to come to the village with him. Why? Because he is married to Tony in the village, but he never revealed that to Jane. So as the pressure mounts from Jane that want to follow Remy to the village, he now revealed the secret to Jane that, okay, he is married to one local woman in the village. And, Remy, and Jane was so angry with Remy because he never revealed that to Jane at the beginning of their relationship. They keep on planning and praising, going to club together and planning to get married. But deep inside, Remy is already married. So it was like a betrayer. Remy betrayed Jane. He betrayed Tony. He betrayed the mother. He even betrayed the church. He betrayed the pastor because uh, he went, he came back, he was not a good or devoted Christian as the pastor went again. And even he disappointed the elders because when he came, he was just challenging tribalism and challenging religious division. He was no more concerned about what the elders came to the city to persuade him to the village to represent them in the parliament. So he disappointed almost everyone looking up to him, that is Remy. So he disappointed Jane as well. Jane is a very good person. And later Jane left Remy when he discovered that Remy has uh, gotten married to a, a lady in the village. Another character is Omange. Omange is a friend of uh, Remy. Omange is not from the Marwa tribe, from Unjobe tribe in Kenya. And uh, he's a very wise person. He gives Remy very good advice. And he even encourages Remy to, to preach against tribalism and religious uh, division that, uh, that was plaguing Kenya after the independence. He also told Remy to, to love um, Tony, to love Tony, that Tony loves him. But Remy, you know, Remy was not uh, given to the uh, advice from uh, Omangi. And uh, we saw that uh, he is a library, he's a library progressive character, just like uh, Jane. He did not discriminate in either as color or tribe. Another character, these are the ma minor characters. Now, we have discussed the major character. The minor character is Ungobe. He does not play much uh, role in the, the play. He is the father of uh, Remy, the father of uh, um, Remy, and the father of Edda, brother of Remy, who died by accident. And then he is the husband of uh, Uyobi, and then the father-in-law of uh, Tony. Then the leader of the Edda's, he was the one leading the Edda's, complaining and having a series of meetings in the village square. 
complaining that uh, they do not have anybody representing them in the parliament and then he was the one who led the two other elders to the city to go and bring back uh, uh, Remy using charm. The first elder is the one who followed the leader, the, ed the leader of the elder to the city to get Remy back to the village. The second order elder as well followed the leader of the elders to the city to get uh, Remy back. Then the first neighbor, the first neighbor played the role coming to the house of uh, Uyobi. We, when Uyobi, um, Tony and the pastor were discussing about the return of uh, of Remy. So the first neighbor came and told them that a man was coming to coming from afar. The second neighbor also came when the man was coming nearer and then informed the pastor, the UOB and the attorney that somebody was coming. The village woman was the one encouraging um was the one encouraging uh, uh Tony not to commit suicide and then he told Tony to come and live with her since Remy does not want her. He should come and live with her but she did not listen to the village woman and then uh, Tony committed suicide. Though the village woman was so sorry that Tony uh, committed suicide. So um, in the next uh, video, we are going to be discussing the major, the major themes in the novel and the literary devices used in the novel. Thank you and have a blessed day.